This video was recorded at the FIFA 17 capture event. I was invited by EA Sports, who gave me early access to FIFA 17 and covered the cost of my meals throughout the day. The ratings of the players and some transfers are not final. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Squad Builder today with gameplay, of course, that we got at the capture event. Now, uh, today's squad is going to be based around the Spanish League, the La Liga, the Liga BBVA, <clears throat> whatever it is you like to call it. That is the league we're going to be covering today. Some of whom are packed, some of whom I picked up on the market. There's lots of great players in today's squad. Um, now, I actually used Ter Stegen in goal. Um, um, and though I've got some saves with him, but what I would highly recommend is that you guys would use like Oblak if you got the choice So he's actually gonna feature in our squad today But I think what I used most was probably Ter Stegen now 87 rated Oblak this year uh, has got good diving good reflexes exceptional handling and positioning um, But he is probably going to be quite expensive So Ter Stegen is a cheaper option and uh, will well, obviously cost you a lot, lot less coins uh, And he was kind of solid as well, but he did let a few goals in now, the defense of this team, again, <laughs> really, really good. I was seriously impressed. Uh, we have Juan Fran coming in at right back today. On FIFA 17, on the build that we played anyway, he was an 83 rated right back with 84 pace. And then decent stats across the board. You know, I wasn't expecting such high passing for a fullback. You know, 74 is decent. Uh, but it's his 79 defending and physical, which helps him out quite a lot. We then have Mustafi, and I did play him for a reason. Of course, this is a pre-transfer. He plays for Arsenal nowadays. Um, so I thought, even though he's not at his correct club at the capture event, I would stick him in the team uh, and see what he's like, because maybe there's some Arsenal fans out there that are going to want to know, or some of you guys that are wanting to use uh, BPL squads at the start of FIFA, uh, whether or not he's any good. And I have to say, he was pretty solid. Uh, Pepe, however... <laughs> Amazing. He's brilliant. Literally one of the best centre-backs on the entire game. Uh, I think these stats slightly differ from the ones that he's officially been given. Um, but he was, uh, on the day, my second favourite centre-back on the game. Jerome Boateng was first, followed by Pepe. He just wiped and mopped every single thing up. He was a nutcase. He really was awesome. Uh, and then Felipe Luis comes in at left back today, looking to be an 85 rated fullback this year. They've obviously adjusted the goalkeepers and the fullbacks ratings because he is a very high rated player there. Um, and on FIFA 16, we didn't have any fullbacks that were that highly rated, apart from, of course, um, David Alaba. Uh, now we move on to the midfield and we start off with Arda Turan, who uh, is a centre mid this year. Absolutely buzzing about that. 86 dribbling and 83 passing. Uh, he's always been like a kind of unusable player when he's out on the wing because he hasn't got quite enough pace. But for a centre mid, he's perfect. And I loved every single minute using him. One of the best midfielders I used at the entire capture event. Uh, we then put Sergio Busquets in. I was chopping and changing around actually with him and Pareo. Uh, the uh, 80... What is he? 82 rated centre midfielder. Uh, the other Spaniard guy. He's got very high passing. And I score a really nice goal with him later on. So you'll see that in the clips. Uh, but we stick Isco in at Cam today. He's 84 on FIFA, six, uh, FIFA 17. He's still got some decent dribbling on him. 86 dribbling overall. Four star skill moves. And again, I scored a couple of nice goals with him as well. Uh, but it's all about this front three. They are probably going to be the front three to use in a budget uh, La, Liga uh, La Liga team. Rather than uh, an expensive one where you could, of course, use people like Bale, Ronaldo, Benzema, Griezmann. All of that good stuff. These are likely to be the slightly cheaper items. Inyaki Williams then, 80 rated with 92 pace and of course great physical. We then have Musonda who is a new player to Ultimate Team I believe. Or he's no, he's had a massive upgrade from a bronze I think. 77 rated, 5 star skills and weak foot. That's crazy. He's also got 88 pace and 83 dribbling. So he's definitely one to watch and a sort of player that you're going to want to pick up at the start of the game. If anything, you could probably class him as the cheap Neymar. Uh, and then we have Ben Yedda, who was a complete favourite of mine from FIFA 16. Any of you guys that have been with my channel for a while will know this. Uh, and I'm very happy to report that he seems to be an 80 rated uh, gold rare item with 83 pace and 84 dribbling. And of course the 4 star skills. 5 star weak foot combo which is oh so nice uh, and uh, I was buzzing when I saw that I, I had no idea what to expect for Ben Yedda I don't, I don't claim to watch this league or anything or know how he was doing uh, so I was just hoping for a nice gold rare item and I was surprised and uh, it, was, it was decent not going to lie 
These are some of the other players that I would either recommend or that I maybe even used in this squad before upgrading to certain players. That Orellana right there, the right wing, was... Pretty damn good, uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we get on into the clips now. I'll show you some, some saves that we got with Testagen actually, before we switched him out for, for Oblak, the higher rated guy. I obviously packed Oblak a little bit later and was like, hmm, maybe I'll stick him in the, into the team, see how he's doing, considering he's one of the new big upgrades. Uh, this is some nice passing play. I don't think we end up getting anything from it. Yeah, Orellana just stuffs it over the bar. But it's, it's this nice passing play that I'm really enjoying so much on FIFA 17. Uh, even on the demo, like I've been playing that a whole bunch as well. I haven't made any videos on the demo <coughs> at this point in time. I might make some uh, before the week is out. You never know. Uh, but yeah, it's just that passing play. The, the one-touch tick attack of stuff. It's so much fun and it's such a breath of fresh air from FIFA 16 where I really couldn't get going with passing a lot of the time so uh, I'm, I'm seriously happy I'm hoping to get my my my, far, my first time passing game on point for for like foot champions and, and all of that good stuff because I think FIFA 17 is going to be the most competitive FIFA ever as we score quite a dodgy goal I'm not gonna lie I, th I think if I had let that in in the 90th minute I would have been quite salty I'm, <laughs> I think but Arda Turan takes the shot it gets blocked by I think Koscielny and the keeper but can't quite get the, a good enough touch on it to stop it from going in. But we did score it. And, uh, of course, there was a little bit of 90th minute cheese right there. And then Arda Turan on his weak foot scores a worldie from outside the box. A nice low shot uh, that was sort of just off the ground. And I'm pretty sure that's a new celebration as well. Bit of a weird one. Um, but you should be proud of me because I normally... I think I dabbed most of the time at the capture event. So uh, whenever you see a different celebration, you know that I obviously wasn't concentrating uh, Orellana scores a nice goal here. We run into the box and rather than shooting it near post, honestly, I think you're going to have to go for far post this year. That's more realistic in what a, an actual footballer would do. You always shoot across the goalkeeper, of course, um, because his near post should be a very strong and easy save for him. Uh, and on FIFA 16, that wasn't quite the case. Obviously, uh, you know, shooting near post was quite overpowered. So... This is a lovely goal, by the way. Look, look at the passing and moving. And Pareo, the centre midfielder that I was swapping out between him and Busquets, um, scores a lovely goal. And again, I believe that's his weak foot. He's also a very good free kick taker, of course, uh, if you do want to pick him up. Lower rated than Busquets, so obviously going to be slightly cheaper. Now take a look at this brilliant goal. Best goal I scored at the capture event, hands down. And it is by Musonda, the new 5-star skill, 5-star weak foot. Mini Neymar, cheap Neymar, whatever you want to call him. He's even got Junior at the end of his name. I'm going to show you that goal again because it was so good. But yeah, even on his shirt, he's got he's got Junior, Masonda Junior, which is kind of like Neymar Junior. You know, he's he basically is the cheap Neymar with the five star skill skills and weak foot, uh, and of course the great uh, pace, the great dribbling. He's a very cheap version of someone epic on the game. Left wing, La Liga. You can't get much closer. Of course, he's not Brazilian or anything, but it's very very close. So I'm going to cover him in detail over on the Footwiz channel because I think a lot of people are going to want to know about this guy. Uh, he's going to be one of those ones to watch and ones to pick up at the start of the game. Hopefully, hyping him up doesn't put his price up too much. I can't see that happening because he's such a lower rated player that he's going to get packed like literally loads. I'm sure... If, if you guys open uh, a few packs at the start of the game, you're probably most likely to pack him as well. I'm not going to lie. Um, and we've got some other shots and goals going in now. I think these are shots with Isco, the cam, who gets himself into some really great positions. And that right there, that shot that just went wide, is something that I would probably expect to go in on FIFA 16. But seems as though you need to be slightly more accurate with your shooting. As I completely destroyed Kyle. Uh, is that Kyle that I was playing in that game? I think it, I, yeah, I think it was uh, with Isco right there. He, he, he takes the bait with the fake shot and then I just scoop it round and slot it into the far corner. A great goal to seal a nice win against him right there. Uh, and now we get on to the goals that we scored with Ben Yedda. They're quite nice and again, he's a player that I really want to focus on because I think a lot of you are going to be interested in him. He's a good nation in a good league and he's a really good, well-statted player that that it always performs well on FIFA. Something about the way he's built is just great for FIFA. Nice outside of the boot finish right there. And we score a couple more with him. And that will that will do it for the video. So, 
If you guys have enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Really appreciate it. It makes me know that you, this is the sort of content you want to watch. Nice goal off, in off the bar, by the way, from the main man, uh, Ben Yedda. Uh, and also, if you aren't already, I would highly recommend subscribing to the channel for more of this exclusive FIFA 17 content that only us guys at the capture event uh, were able to get. So, uh, the full game will be out very soon. I hope you guys are all excited for it and stuff. I know I am. I want to get my hands on it and play it as much as I possibly can. Because literally playing it for about 12 or 13 hours straight at the event, um, I, I, I literally I, I could have stayed up all night and, and played it more because it's such a great, such a great feeling. I love the buzz of a new FIFA. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Final goal from Ben Yadda, and I will catch you next time, guys. Peace.